Hey guys, this is MAGA. Got Walmart right here. Gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. Anyway, this is MAGA. Uh, he is a seven year old registered Rocky Mountain Gilden. He stands 14 and a half inches tall. Uh, he's barefoot on four feet in these videos. Um, you can shoot him if you want to. I just, I, he had some shoes on him. I pulled them. Anyway, I pulled his front ones. He only had front ones on him. Um, anyway, this little horse uh, is awesome. He's broke. He's very gentle. He's docile. He's in your pocket. Sweet. All that. Um, but he has a few issues. We'll talk about them. First thing is he was not started until he's a five-year-old. Look at me. Is that a gray hair? Just how the lights hit it. He wasn't started until he was a five-year-old. And... Um, so just know that he's seven now uh the lady i got him off of got him off the breeder and she only rode this horse in a halter he's uh he's not bit broke um she rode him in a halter or not a bitless halter uh or a halter she said but anyway we i rode him in a halter i don't have a bitless bridle uh i used to have one but i couldn't find it so we just throw the halter on he rides good in halter anyhow he rides good in halter backs up does all that does all the obstacles good little horse um sensible little horse she said he'll stand anywhere tied except for the side of her corn pro horse rider i think she said corn bro and for some reason on it she, he don't like it and he'll pull back on it now i have found that being tied to my wash bay we washed him he stood there like a champion but we just left him stand there dry he pulled back on it and uh he didn't get loose but he pulled back sat back on it and he came back up because I, you know, I had a good halter on him. He didn't break loose. But anyway, so he did that. Um, he's fine after that, so he, he may be over it now, but I don't know. But anyhow, so uh, that might be something he might do with you. I don't know. Pull back uh, if he's tied. Um, what else? Uh, his gait. He's not been asked to gait. He's just been walked. That's all he's been done is walked. Uh, so he'll need work on his gait. Um, he's not pacing. Yeah, if anything, he'll trot. Um, you push him up out of it, he'll just trot a little bit. He will gate. We did ask him to gate a time or two there, and he tries to trot a little bit, but he does gate. So he needs to work on his gate if, if that's something you desire to do. Obviously, you know, most people do. But, um, again, I sell a horse to a lot of people that don't want to gate. Walk him around. He's fine. He likes to walk. He loves to walk. Uh, needs to work on that. Um, everything you could do to make one not gate was done to this horse. Uh, no offense, love the person that sold him to me. She's she's a good person. Nothing intentional, but she had him. She, well, you got a trotty horse for one that's on the. Every horse is either on one side or the other of the spectrum. You got the pacey side and you got the trotty side. Well, this horse is a little bit on the trotty side. The kind that I like. Good squire going horses makes me you know makes a nice horse. You know, I hate a pacey horse. I don't like a pacey horse. That's just me. He's more over here on the trotty side. So what you do, you do not do is shoe him only on the front and that's how he was he only had front shoes um when i got him so that works against you so it's totally against him um if you had uh back shoes only on him he'd probably my, my opinion he'd just get right on i don't have my fire didn't show up yet uh i got him on schedule to shoe monday which is when he's going to sell so maybe we'll have him getting good then i don't know but he needs i'd like to play around with his shoeing a little bit so that's one thing that'll make a, a trotty a horse that's on the trotty side of the spectrum, not gate, is the shoes. Uh, front shoes only. Okay, he needs weight on the back. If anything, a little heavier on the back, most of them is. So he's lighter on the back and heavier on the front right now because he don't have none on the back. So that's the totally opposite all right, of what he should be. Uh, also, a trotty or going horse, in my expertise, is opens up a big can of worms, needs a bit. A bit, a bit helps them tremendously. That you, I can take a pacey horse and ride it without a bit, and most of the time it'll gate. Uh, it, it, it changes everything when you start adding pressure in their mouth, it does. So, a bit a bitless and shoes only on the front of him, he had no choice but trot. So anyhow, there you go guys, that's the, that's a whole nine yards. This is a doll baby horse, I'm not gonna give him away. He got some issues that I'm talking about, that's nothing. This uh, this horse right here, you can't find one. Uh, he's not gonna be cheap. I don't care a bit to keep him in my training program. I'm gonna say add him, but I actually did. I started the day, it was day one on training, and we got a long way first session. Uh, I love him. He's just a doll baby. But anyway, here he is, guys. Good little horse. I will sell him. Uh, but I, like I said, just because he got a few issues don't mean he's going to be cheap because he is awesome. But here he is.
Yeah, kind of.